Hi guys, Ree here. Welcome back to my channel, Mummy of Four Does Disney, and a come pack with me for five people traveling to Disneyland Paris for a seven night trip in February 2023. The trip is very exciting, but the mess I have created in preparing to pack, if you saw this video, which was our trip announcement, and where we tried everything on for the trip and organized our outfits, you will understand why my bedroom is now such a terrible mess and as much as I'm really not in the mood to pack right now I'm going to need to if I want to you know use the bed tonight. So to help me organize my chaotic mind and all of this chaos behind me into super organized packing that will make for a stress-free trip I'm delighted to say I now have my Disney trip planner to help me. At the time of filming I just have the digital version of the planner which to be honest I'm big into digital planning anyway I love having everything on my iPad that then syncs with my phone. I've always got at least one of them with me, so I always have access to the planner. But by the time you see this video, there will also be the printed version, which if you would rather take pen to paper and then physically take the planner with you as you're planning and on your trip, then that will be available too. So of the many, many pages of the planner, the ones I'm going to jump to now, We've been using the outfit planner to plan out who is wearing what on which days. Now I'm going to jump to the packing checklist. Now you can utilize this packing checklist to pack by person, or you can use this packing checklist in the version that will be available to you. This is kind of still a prototype version because it still says by person here, but you can use it to check off by day. Now I'm actually gonna do both for this, so it's kind of a belt and braces approach. I'm gonna check off has every individual person got what they need, as well as have we got everything we need for each day. I like to pack per day, you will have heard me talk about this before if you've seen my packing videos previously, because if one of your cases goes missing and you've packed per person, and you know my case goes missing and everyone else's cases are there, I end up with nothing to wear. Whereas if you pack by day, so you pack everything for day one in one case for all the people, everything for day two, in but another case, whatever it may be, then if a case goes missing, you've still got some clothes to wear each until the other cases can be located. And that just brings a little bit of extra peace of mind. I've also got a complete Disney packing checklist that I am working with for sort of non-clothing items and I can add things to this as I go. And then I've got a shopping checklist for things that as I'm packing, I think, ah, do you know what? I need to buy that before we go. It can go on my shopping checklist. I'll show you what I've done in this mess behind me and then I just need to get out some cases and get some of this stuff packed into them so I can get into bed at some point today. So in that video where I showed you what we were wearing, as we took everything off, I put things into baskets per day. So travel day, although we've also got travel day stuff here, those things are for travel day as well. So they will just be hung up. I do like to put aside the travel day clothes before we travel because otherwise my family would wear this stuff and then I wouldn't be able to locate it. And you know, we're leaving early in the morning. It needs to be put aside and ready to go. So this is travel day, day one, two, three, so on and so forth. So what I'm gonna do is is pack all the things for each person. This is everything for myself, the children, not my husband, because as much as I've asked him, he's not giving me the stuff he wants to wear yet. So we're gonna pack everything for myself and the children into these bags, add in the pants and socks for each person, and if I can get through a few days and get that stuff away, then we'll be on a winning streak. And I've always got the option to rejig the suitcases at a later date if necessary, but at least if I can get some of this stuff away, then I can get into bed. And of course, if you want to take multiple little backpacks, because you've got different backpacks for different outfits, you can use them as packing cubes, and you pack the outfits that you want, including everything you want to wear, pants, socks, accessories, all the clothing, fold them up neatly, put them in the bag, and then it goes into your suitcase as the world's fanciest Disney packing cube. Oh, and I've almost forgot, over here, I have got just things per person that haven't been sorted per day yet. So I've been gathering together, these are like long sleeve vests, those are Williams. This is mostly a bag of Williams stuff, so his pants, socks, things like that. I've got one for each of the girls, vests, pants, socks, leggings, one for myself, socks, pants, etc. And then I've also gathered together some supplies like tissues, wet wipes, things we're gonna need to pack. Okay, now let's get going.
Okay, so that's day one done. I've got Williams and Zara's in there. Bella's in there because her dress was quite full. Mine in here. I haven't done my husband's. But that's a pretty good start. William's taking the same bag. I'm taking the same bag for that like first full day. So that is ready to go into a case. I'm just doing this for myself and the kids because my husband, I'm just going to have to deal with him separately. So for myself and the children, that's tops. Um, I will probably put in some separate hoodies. There aren't specific hoodies there. I have put in for each day these like thermal tops for the kids and nice warm socks, leggings for the girls under their skirts. I'm going to pack some separate hoodies. So I'm okay. I haven't put hoodies for them in for that day specifically, but they have got like long sleeve thermal things. I've done the underwear and the socks, PJs and coats. That's like more general, but I've done the accessories for that day. Okay. So toiletries, when you're doing things by day, certain things aren't going to be as relevant. This is the beauty of the digital planner. You can just, you know, you can just like, you could add that same page in again blank if you wanted to, because you've got that flexibility. But okay, first day, we're doing pretty well. And if I, if I just put like dad, my husband here, if I put daddy or four, when I've packed for him for everything. So you make this neater, you can delete that. If you hate your planner being really messy, you can use this text tool, which is cheating that because you just use this. And then you tap it down here and you write, oh look. So much neater than my writing. There we go. He can have his own role, his own role. So everyone else's stuff and then just him. So, so this is when I've done everything for everyone. I'm doing this per day because in this chaos, that's what I need to do. Okay, on to the next day, the 19th. Oh, do you know what? I've just realized Saturday the 18th is travel day. So I'm doing better than I thought because that's actually travel day. And I've actually got all that stuff set aside. Okay, not for my husband, but all that stuff I have got for travel day. But these things I've just packed are for the Sunday. So I need to put in the hoodies. But I've done underwear, socks, accessories. Woohoo! Doing better than I thought. So down here in the notes section, I'm going to put a note, and again, I like the digital planet for this because this is a note that might change where the locations of where I put things, but you can always use erasable pens if you're a, like a paper planner kind of girl. So I've put Sunday the 19th is in the mini case, and if I move that around a later date, I can change that. But for now, I know where I've put it, and in my brain, I'm like, did I actually pack that? I can go, yeah, I did, and I can tell you where it is too. Now let's pack for the second full day. I might actually clear some space at this rate. Okay, I've now packed everything for myself and the children for the second full park day, which is the third day of the trip, Monday. I can tick all that off, but I've still got to add in, because I can't find it right now, I know it's in another case. There's a yellow t-shirt that I want to wear. So I'm gonna say that not all the tops are done, and I'm gonna add in under here, like on a list, find yellow bell t-shirt and then I'll pop that under there but the Sunday the 19th and in fact we'll put Monday the 20th in there as well all of that stuff is going in the mini case so clothing wise other than that one t-shirt and the stuff for my husband that's days one two of this trip kind of taken care of
Okay, I have run out of long sleeved thermal vests for the girls. I knew that we were a bit short um, and I have not got these things done for them. So underwear for the Monday. Let me see, Monday we've done. Hang on, we've done, we're doing so well here. So this stuff is for the Tuesday. I've packed all the tops, but I have not packed all the long sleeve thermal tops. So they're gonna need them for four days. So we'll do, we'll need it for Encanto, Belle, uh, Paris, because we are doing a non-Disney day where I need to pack some non-Disney clothes when we go into central Paris. And what's the other day that we're doing? Oh, Jasmine. So none of those are gonna have those long sleeve thermal tops that the girls need. So that's one, two, three, four. One, two, three, got them, perfect. Okay, we're on a roll. But other than that, everything for that Tuesday, we've got underwear done, accessories are in, and the park bags, woohoo! That is four days out of the seven. Well, technically eight if you can count travel home day. Really feel like I'm making a dent in this now. So I've stacked all that stuff there. I'm gonna move this case, hang that lot back up. I guess just move this, this is all travel day stuff. Move all this just over there. And if that's all I can face doing tonight, so be it. And we will tackle this fresh another day. So it's one week later. Other than just gathering things together to pack, I haven't done any extra actual packing. But today's a really exciting day and something really exciting arrived since I last spoke to you on this video. But all the videos I filmed lately are really out of sequence, let me explain. So in real time, today is the day that my magical trip planners for Disney have launched. Now, when I last spoke to you on this video, the planners hadn't arrived, I was just using the digital version, which I'm gonna carry on doing actually because I'm kind of a digital planner, that really suits me. So last weekend when I filmed all of the everything we're wearing and I started filming this packing video, um, these hadn't arrived yet. During the week they actually arrived, which is really, really exciting, so I've got them to show you. There is a whole video actually, which I filmed since I last booked you on this video. Gosh, it's so confusing. Um, which shows you like through all of the details inside these. But since I filmed that video where I said that I was going to also launch a generic one because this one says Disneyland Paris on it and speaks specifically about because there's a few things that are quite specific to Disneyland Paris aren't there like the travel options like obviously you're not going to get the Eurostar to Florida right? you're just not going to do that so that's why this one is specific to Paris but I have also got the magical trip planner which by the time you see this I will have a copy of in my hand but hasn't arrived from the printers yet for me to show you. And actually, by the time you see this video, we'll probably already be in Disneyland Paris, so make sure you are following me over on Instagram. Anyway, after all of that excitement of showing you like the little books, look. There's the spiral bound version and there's, a, anyway, they literally just launched this morning, as in two hours ago in real time. If you were one of those people that have sent me a message this morning and made me smile, um, saying how excited I are for it, thank you. It means so, so much. Okay, let's get into some actual packing. Let's get back on with it, shall we? So it is Sunday the 1st of February. We fly to Paris in 13 days from right now. So let's make sure we've got everything ready, shall we? I'm really hoping that um, today I can kind of really break the back of the packing and really, really get everything that I need to get done done. Since I last um, filmed this and since this has gone like, honestly the timeline's really confusing me, I have rejigged these pages that were bugging me when I was actually using it. This is why I wanted to try using it before I published it. Um, so, and if you've bought the digital version, any updates I make in the future, you'll automatically get anyway to this edition. So we can see what we've got. We've got tops for certain days. I have bought some of the things from my shopping list, I have bought vests and wet wipes. It's got a little Marks and Spencer's haul of like long sleeve vests and things. So we'll go through that in a second. Maybe that's as good a place as any to start. And then I need to like work through this pile. So top tip from me, based on mistakes I've made previously, if you're doing like I'm doing at the moment and packing like packing one weekend and then you kind of busy all week and you go back to it the next weekend, 
write down not just like what you've ticked off but where you've put things because otherwise it can totally spin you out and you can forget where you've put things. When I packed for Florida because obviously it was a much longer trip and it was very complicated and I really need to double check everything. We were there for was it 15 nights. I actually took photographs of the insides of the cases and labelled them on the photos of where I'd put each thing. For Florida I did a case per park. So I did like a case for Magic Kingdom outfits, a case for Epcot outfits, a case for, you know, for each of the parks. So there was an element of organisation from that point of view. And for this, I'm definitely trying to stick to my splitting, like packing per day rather than packing per person. Now the good news is my husband's actually given me some stuff this morning. He's been really pretty bad at this. I actually said, look, I need to know which jeans you want, which socks you want. Because if I just take the stuff and chuck it in the case, he'd be like, this is the wrong stuff. Oh my god. So Normally he's really reluctant and gives it to me really last minute, but actually, you know, we've got just under two weeks left to go and I've managed to bully him into handing over the things he wants to take. It's a miracle. Let's take a look at what we've got in here. Okay, so I bought, and these were two for 12 pounds, just loads of pairs of navy gloves. It doesn't matter who wears them. It's not like, this is my glove, this is your glove. It's just all the gloves for the children. Gloves will go missing. Gloves will inevitably go missing. They've got Disney gloves that they had before. They've taken them to school and they've lost them. I don't know what happens to gloves, they're worse than socks. But I figured if I just bought millions of pairs of gloves, they've all got navy overcoats anyway, um, so they'll all match. So they are just a load of gloves for the children. I got for myself a Thermal Heat Gen Plus t-shirt to wear on one of the days. It feels lovely and soft. So you open, take it out and relax away. That's nice, isn't it? Ooh, that should keep me toasty and warm. I'm an absolute freezer, so I'm definitely more of, if I could choose, to go to the parks when it's warm or when it's cold. I'm probably more of a when it's cold, warm kind of girl. But, you know, we don't want to miss out on the magic until the, the weather breaks. And our Aunt Din Disneyland Paris annual passes will run out at the end of May. So it's only Easter or February that we had as the options. And we managed to get a really good deal actually for February because I think England are on half term a different week to us. So that hopefully will keep me nice and snuggly. And then I got more of these vests. I got two types of vests last time. I got this type for William, which is just very, very plain. So these are nine to 10. So I got these are Bella size this time. But the other ones looked more like vests, underwear, you know, that kind of like had a little bow on them and were cute, but perhaps showing under their uh, princess dresses, this like plainer option might work better. These are perhaps a bit more unisex, whereas the other ones were decidedly girly. Just, okay, they're a bit like liney, I guess, which I suppose is the thermal element. Less kind of frilly, because they will be showing under the princess dresses. Oh, and I got a cream one as well, look. I've got a cream under top thing for me. There's a blog post to go with this, with everything that I'm, like all the packing type stuff. And then there is a blog post, which I will also link with the everything we're wearing. So these will probably be in the everything we're wearing blog post. With a blog post to go my videos, because otherwise everyone's like, where'd you get this? Where'd you get that? Stick it on the blog post, you can find it all. Okay, I've really got to stop shit chatting now. Um, and unpack these, and actually pack to go. I've got two hours before my husband is going out and he's handing me all the children back. Um, let's see how much we can get done. First job, sort this lot into some sort of semblance of order. I believe those I, from last week were baskets per person. Let's sort through it and then get it in the cases. Surveying the chaos now, it looks a bit scary, doesn't it? Let's face it, but let's not be scared. It's organized chaos. We've got a basket per person of the trip of pants, socks, miscellaneous stuff to be distributed day by day. So my husband, myself, William Belazara. This is the stuff for the Aladdin day, which I haven't even attempted to pack yet. This is just miscellaneous bits and pieces like gloves, wipes, medication, just stuff I've been gathering. And these are things that we're gonna wear on travel day. 
and I've got some bits on the back of the door which are gonna need packing and I've brought these cases up from downstairs. Now I also found this bag which I realized was supposed to be packed for one of the days um, that I've already packed. So I guess I'm gonna have to unpack a packing cube and repack it into there so I can fit that in for William to take. Um, these are miscellaneous things. These are my burst energy drinks that I drink every day um, just to keep me going. They're like multivitamin, caffeine, and yeah, I live on those things just to kind of keep my energy levels up, which is especially important in Disney. Okay, so where do we go from here? Um, I'm gonna move these down out of the floor, open up the cases. Let's take a look at what we've packed already and see what's missing. So there's bits missing from the Mary day. Um, so that would be, that's why we need the thermal tops that I needed to add in. We haven't packed any of the Aladdin stuff. Uh, yellow bell, oh, I do need to find that t-shirt don't I which actually I think is under the bed so I need to get that out before I cover the bed in cases and then there's a Paris um day where we're not going Disney stuff and I've just got like non-Disney stuff the girls have got these dresses and leggings and hoodies and things um just non-Disney stuff for when we go and see the Eiffel Tower if that's something we're gonna do I must admit when it gets to this stage it can feel quite overwhelming because I'm nowhere near finishing but I just need to plow through and hopefully by the end of today, I can be packed there or thereabouts and then it gets really exciting because then the trip is real and not just an overwhelming <laughs> chaotic mess. Okay, let's see where we're at. So we've got travel day stuff, obviously isn't going in the cases. Now these, we don't have to wear them in these particular order of these days. I've just done it as a for instance. So all of the stuff for like what we're calling the dream shine brighter day, I've done. That's the Tiana and Rapunzel stuff. That's done. That case closed, can be closed back up. Then for the Mary Poppins stuff, I did need to add in the tops, didn't I, for the girls. So they need to be added in there. And then non-Disney outfits, they're over there, they need to go in. So we'll stuck those in one of those cases. The yellow bell stuff, I found the t-shirt. And I believe these are the bags. Is that right? That we're taking for yellow bell, castle land flight, yep. Yeah. And then for the, the Encanto day, a lot of that stuff is packed already, but I do need to add in. Oh no, I've done the tops and things for Encanto day apparently. Well, that's good. I'm glad I took that, took that off, otherwise I wouldn't have known. And then none of the stuff for Aladdin, Jasmine Day's pack, because that's down there. Let's keep it at it.
going through my list, we're doing really, really well. So these four cases have got all of the clothes that we need to take. I've got a basket down here with bits for travel day and these are like non-clothing bits that are gonna need packing. Now, I haven't yet been through toiletries so I'm gonna need to do all of that. And I've got one um, packing cube over here of bits and pieces. I need to pack all of my tech, my camera, laptop, everything like that in this case, which is going in hand luggage and my extra camera, my extra batteries, all that kind of thing. But that's obviously gonna have to be quite last minute because I use all of that stuff day to day. So we're just gonna put that to one side. Inside there are all the chargers and plugs and things. I am gonna transfer those into the, one of these cases. So I've still gotta do toiletries, chargers, all the miscellaneous non-clothing items and our physical park bags and carry-on bags. But clothing-wise, I'm pretty much done. I am going to have to stop there for right now. I think my husband's going out, I'm gonna to have to have the children back. And quite frankly, my head is gone. But that is so much stuff just ticked off. I'm feeling really, really great about, there isn't really not much left to do now. So once I've done those little extra bits and pieces, the toiletries and the park bags, and my head's a bit clearer, we'll be ready. So we are nearly packed. It is eight days until we fly back to Disneyland Paris and I really want to get the packing finished today. And by finished, I mean bar obviously the last minute things I have to put in. Like the camera I'm filming on now has to be put in last minute. My laptop I need up until the last minute. My hair straighteners. But all of the things that can be packed other than those very last minute things, I would like done today. Can we get to that level? We'll see. So clothing's done, all the stuff we need to wear is done. The only clothing thing I think I need to add in are the spare trainers for Bella because she's physically got them on her feet today. We had an absolute soaking one of the days in our October trip, I think, and I did think then we could have done with spare shoes to change into, to be nice and dry. So other than that though, clothing's pretty good. So we're gonna go through toiletries and things like that and all the non-clothing items, and then hand lug it, and then I think we're there. We'll have to go through the planner and check it all off so that in, I know in my mind I can relax and actually start getting excited, because I don't know about you, let me know if you're the same. Once I'm packed and I feel like organized, ready to go, that's when it gets really exciting. I'm at that stage where I've just made a big old mess again. Sorting out the chaos. Those are clothes for travel day. Don't need to worry about those. I have got a basket over here of mostly snacks. These are my printed planners. Those are coming with us. So snacks and drinks in there. This needs to go back to Disneyland Paris. The lid on it's faulty. So as Zara tries to take the lid off, it just spins, she can't undo it. So I need to take that back. I've got packs of tissues and packs of wipes. They need to go into everybody's hand luggage. As I think we're probably going to the parks on the first day, I think I'll give the children one pair of gloves each in their hand luggage and pack the spares. I've got children's medications for like if we need Calpol, Nurofen, that kind of thing, and the thermometers in there got the children's hats that they bought on the last trip. Obviously William's got his uh, Sorcerer Mickey hat, but those hats are going with the girls. Got these little packets of pens and notebooks. Let me see, that one is Zara's, that one's Bella's, that one's Will's. So there's already tissues in there, excellent. Got their autograph books with photos, which are looking really full, actually. I would imagine they've only got a couple of spaces left. They're probably going to need new autographs to be bought this trip, but those need to go into hand luggage because on days where we have flown one day and gone to the parks the next, obviously you don't need like an autograph book, but on a day where you're going straight to the parks, it's good to have it to hand. 
what else is in here this is just stuff i've been gathering around they are shorts for me for wearing to bed ah these are important now these are the children's air tags you see that little disc um i'll just take it out to show you an air tag if you're not familiar is one of these little discs and you can put it on a key ring you can put it on your luggage and it tracks the thing so if you can't find the thing you can use like find my iphone type facility to find it now i'm fully aware that these are no substitution for actually just keeping an eye on my children in the parks but it's just that backup if we were to lose sight of them for a few moments that knowledge that we'd know at least which direction they went in and they know only mummy and daddy are allowed to take these off them they're not allowed to take them off themselves no one else is allowed to take them off them um we talked to them about looking for cast members if they ever can't find us my phone number is in name stickers and all of their clothing and things obviously it's just keeping an eye hand holding keeping an eye hand holding but it doesn't hurt to have a little backup these along with everything else are linked below those are one four each of them these are toiletry type things so they are going in check-in luggage this bag is so far empty but it's going to be toiletries and things and then snacks that i don't need on travel day um and then once i've got everything packed i can redistribute some of the heavier stuff into this but i know if i go with this suitcase at least half empty i know we've got that extra space to bring back souvenirs or whatever then this case is coming on the plane in carry on with me in here we've got snap bands slap bands that we use to attach ears to our bags when we want to take them off we've got our annual passes i need to get the actual passports out this is a luggage weighing device so i need to make sure i've weighed the cases to make sure they're not over our luggage limit oh and tell a lie those are not our annual passes of course they're not what am i talking about those are the children's disability passes these are our annual passes and also our photo pass so i have got um an, an infinity annual pass which is like the most expensive one because i'm always there and i ha therefore have the the largest amount of discount and i could technically go to the park any day of the year the others have got the one that's just one down so I think there are 15 days a year that they wouldn't be able to go to the park, so we just wouldn't book those days. But I've got a larger discount on food and merch, so, and since I'm always there and I'm the one that just buys everything anyway, it seems silly to buy the highest tier annual passes for everybody because those 15 days a year just aren't that important to us. Okay, let's get these hand luggage bags packed first, then we'll go through our list of toiletries, bits like that. Get it all ticked off, get it checked, so we can start getting excited. So this is the bag my husband is taking. Um, for those of you asking, this was a shop Disney before we went on the cruise. So early 2021 bag. I don't think you can get them anymore, but wonder if shop Disney's got something similar. So I've put some like cereal bars and things in. I was actually looking for the plainer ones, the uh, Rice Krispie ones. They didn't have any when I went to the local shop. I've got some mini cheddars and Belvitas, which are like breakfast-ish I suppose because we're getting to the airport very early um I've also got these are the hardest ones I could find in the local shop but I like to give the children something sweet wise to kind of chew and suck on um when the plane is landing so these are not as hard as they could be they're not like super hard boiled sweets but they're better than nothing so I'll put one bag in my husband's stuff and the others in with the snacks so if i can't find anything else at least we've got something to give the children for landing on the way back i got some mini eggs but because this is a family size pack i have packed this clip thingy i've got some of my burst drinks which i can't 
like function without these these are multivitamin energy drinks and they're just like little sachets um and i put them in with water and they just keep me going you know they just they just keep me going if you follow me on my main channel you know i drink those every day so gotta take some of those with me i'm gonna decant those though into that bag and then i'm just gonna put some of these other snacks in the case and another clippy thing in case we buy any like big bags of crisps or anything while we're there um back at the room or whatever and we can just clip them up Okay, I'll chuck those in and then I think we'll go through toiletries and plug sockets and the medical kit. We're nearly there. Okay, electronics wise, I've actually taken out the American plugs. We're not gonna need those for a Paris trip. We will, however, need them on the cruise or next time we head to America, so do not need to lose those. They need to stay somewhere nice and safe. This case has got lots of plugs and leads in it for iPhones. And then this one is largely empty at the moment, but I'm gonna put my other cameras and camera equipment into there, and then that will have to come with me directly on the plane so that little carry-on case i'm going to keep my kind of uh vlogging and um, equipment my computer things i don't really want to go into the hold things i really don't want to lose um that can all stay with me but this one whoop. <laughs> but i can zip this one up and chuck it into the check-in luggage <laughs> right let's get some of this stuff in the case and then check some stuff off the list really feel like I'm getting there. So just before we get to that list, um, I am gonna put my Monzo card into the little purse with the annual passes. I'm not gonna carry a whole wallet. 
I did find a little pencil case full of euros. We don't use a lot of cash while we're out there. We pay for our airport transfers to the airport in UK cash, and then we pay for our airport transfers with prestige transfer in euros. Other than that, maybe tips every now and again, and maybe we'll get one taxi at the end of the night if the queues are too ridiculous for the buses and it's freezing. Um, but almost everything is um, cashless and I pay for using this. The reason I threw it on the floor, the reason I got the Monzo card was because there are no uh, currency conversion fees. I have been using it in this country and in France and it's just great. I'll be using it when we go on the cruise as well because everything on the cruise is in dollars. It works just like a debit card. It's like an online bank. The app is really, really good. And every time you buy anything, it tells you where well, you've bought something, it gives you the option to upload a receipt to match with it and it converts it from euros to what you've spent in pounds. It's just a really good way to spend money without incurring fees. You can put separate pots. So I've got a separate pot allocated in Monzo for food, accommodation, merch, whatever. And then I've got one for each of the children. So they are pocket money I put into these Monzo pots within my card and then because I'm the one going up to physically do the paying at the tail because I've got the, the highest annual parts discount, I then just take out of their pocket money their Monzo what I've just spent, if that makes sense. So if you want to grab one of these, this isn't an ad, but I do get a little benefit if you join. Basically, if you get one of these, once you've spent your first transaction, you get five pounds added to your account and I get five pounds added to mine. So um, I'll put all the details on screen now and as well in that blog post uh, down in the description. But I've got this on my Apple Pay on my phone, but every now and again, I very rarely have it in this country. A couple of times we're in Florida and a couple of times in Paris, they said, are oh, you gonna need to put your card in? So I am physically taking the card as well and that is going in my carry-on. Let's get to this checking things off, shall we? So we went through all the clothes. We're just on to this stuff. So coats, I've not put those in yet. We're gonna wear them, so, but I'm not gonna take it off. Kids medication, yes, put in Calpol, ibuprofen. The children are not ill at the moment and touch wood, we won't need it, but I'd rather have it with me than one of them be ill and then I just have to go and look in for a chemist. Cold flu meds for adults, again, don't need it at the moment. Hope we don't need it while we're out there. I kind of hope that by having it, we won't need it. I probably wouldn't even bother taking it for traveling in the summer, for the adults anyway, but this time of year, just all the colds and things. Ugh. Then Mig Relief, that's uh, like a migraine medication that I take if I feel one coming on. Burst drinks, done. Thermometers were in the thing. Snacks I have packed and drinks containers. I have packed, in the case, just some empty drinks containers. I find it really helpful to take some empty drinks bottles. So if there is a fridge in the room, you can fill up the water from the tap in the sink, check with the hotel that you're staying in that it's actually drinking water in your room, then you can fill it up and it won't be like lukewarm, tepid water because it'll be chilled water from the fridge and then sort of a few hours later, you've actually got chilled water you can use to fill up your little water bottles. Now I have not packed these yet, but that is because we will need to fill those up and pack those on the day. All the SD cards and things need to be done on the day, I've done passports, Chargers are done, electronic devices close to the time, camera and batteries close to the time, first aid kit, we don't need sun cream in February. Makeup, I'm gonna add that the night before. Skin care, shower gel, shampoo, conditioner, deodorant, hair products, washing up liquid for washing out your little bottles and things. So toothbrushes, if you watched my last pack with me, which I think was on my main channel, but you know, after the last trip, I put those through the dishwasher. I just can't get my head around having to pack our actual toothbrushes last minute. That's just another thing to have to do. That's is what, this is why I have chargers that live in the bag. I don't have to worry about those last minute. There are a few things, like for example, my hair straighteners. These aren't the cheapest of hair straighteners. So having a separate set just to live in luggage, I haven't gone that far. But for things that are pretty inexpensive, like charger cables or toothbrushes, it's worth having some that just live there and I can pack those a week, two weeks in advance and not have to think about it. Let's face it, the last, less I have to do last minute, the less stressful it is. So the toothbrushes, in between trips, I put them through the dishwasher so I just feel like they're not growing bacteria and going manky. So they're all nice and clean and in there. I'm gonna have to do all of my camera and vlogging gear last minute, like I'm using this camera right now. I need my laptop. I need to wipe all memory cards and things. So I can't tick off SD cards, hard drives, cameras, laptops, or camera and batteries and electronic devices. Like electronic devices like our phones and things, they're very last minute. So can't tick those off yet. 
I have got the disability and the park passes and I do need to put in the, the folder with all our travel documents in it. So really, I just need this pre-departure checklist to do now the day before we leave. So I'm gonna add tech gear onto there and I'm gonna add uh, hair straighteners. These are just my things that are specifically, there's a pre-departure checklist for all the things that everyone has to do, but then um, there are some makeup items that I'll use every day as well. There are always spaces in the planner to add in little bits that are specific to you and your family that you will need to take that may not be something everyone needs to take. So I can't wait eight days and we'll be doing the pre-departure checklist and then heading off for our first day in the parks. Links to the planner and everything else I've mentioned in this video can be found in a blog post in the description, the cards and the pinned comment too, just to make it easy for you. By the time you see this, we have already flown to Disneyland Paris, so please do make sure you're following me over on Instagram for, you know, just like stories and reels and things just to update you um, as we're on our trip. And then really do make sure you are subscribed with bell notifications on, on this channel to see the actual vlog series, the actual vlogs. I can't wait to share them with you. We are gonna be comparing Disneyland Paris with Walt Disney World, attraction by attraction, area by area. I get asked all the time, which is better? Which would you pick to go to Florida or Paris? The truth is there are so many factors to consider and we're gonna look at all of those in this vlog series. So you can click over here right now and watch that vlog series from the start. I'll see you over there for travel, though it's all very exciting, isn't it? Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.